Hi, I'm Rob Adams, Ag Pilot. This is my first season flying a thrush. I have 9,000 hours total time, uh, 7,500 hours on turbine air tractors. I grew up in South Africa. I've always been interested in agriculture and aviation. Um, I moved to Australia and started my commercial license while I was loading aircraft. Um, then I um, progressed into Piper Braves and Cessna Ag Wagons and then radial air tractor. Um, then I moved from that into um, the turbine air tractors. My trip to Albany, Georgia uh, was very productive. I started off um, in the uh, simulator doing just general handling of the thrush and then they progressed into emergency training and in an agriculture aircraft it's very difficult actually um, simulating or practicing emergency procedures so it is beneficial and then um, they expanded on the simulator training with uh, dual cockpit flying with Terry Humphrey where you could get to handle the aircraft knowing that you have a very experienced test pilot sitting behind you and who can also demonstrate um, the capabilities of the aircraft. I think the uh, thrush cockpit is very well laid out and the uh, simulator emergency training in Albany, Georgia really demonstrated that you could keep your right hand on the stick and everything was accessible with your left hand um, for engine relights, um, any other emergency situations. Um, so for me personally, the thrush cockpit is laid out very well. I normally uh, use one stage of flap and um, let the plane just sit on the ground um, and when it wants to start taking off, I'll let it rotate. Uh, whereas the air tractor, you would try to get the tail up in the air um, and then fly the air tractor away. The thrush is very stable in a turn and will indicate a stall long before it happens and the air tractor can be very late um, in the indication and you can end up dropping a wing and having to sit on the rudder to stay more coordinated in the turn. I think the uh, fatigue issue, I've heard a lot of guys saying you're going to be um, very tired because of the stick forces and um, but I found the opposite to be true. I found if you let the aircraft fly itself, especially in the turn, you could adjust the way you turn a bit compared to an air tractor but um, I have found the uh, thrush to be a very pleasant experience. I found it a great pleasure flying the thrush to Quebec on the ferry, especially in rough windy conditions. Mm -hmm. It is highly stable and I could relax totally, whereas an air tractor, you fly in the aircraft from takeoff to landing, you can't let go of the stick, um, it becomes uncoordinated. The uh, terrain was quite diverse in Quebec. We would be operating close to sea level from fixed bases. Uh, on the St. Lawrence River and then having to climb 4,000 feet to um, cross a range into very hilly, um, sometimes mountainous terrain where we were spraying for the spruce budworm. So the, uh, the terrain was very challenging but the thrush, the thrush was the aircraft to be in. When, before I flew the thrush, several guys have commented that you'll get out of a thrush on a windy day and not realise it as windy as it is, whereas an air tractor, you, um, I find it's a lot more sensitive to crosswinds, um, a little bit more work. Yeah, the uh, tripod gear is a lot more forgiving um, than the uh, spring gear on an air tractor. Initially, it took me a while to um, get used to the different attitude that you're landing in uh, in the thrush compared to the air tractor, but I much prefer landing the thrush now. Um, in crosswinds and um, rough strips. I have found um, less fatigued in a thrush after a long day um, due to the stability of the aircraft. You're not constantly trying to keep it um, balanced in the turn. You're not fighting it in rougher conditions. So I, I have found I'm less fatigued in the thrush. One thing I really like about the thrush compared to the air tractor is uh, negotiating power lines. The uh, aircraft has a very low profile tail, so it's a bit lower than the air tractor. Um, you don't have to be pulling power to drop the tail. Or you can quite comfortably operate as you are under some quite low power lines where you would be thinking twice in an air tractor. I have 9,000 hours total time, uh, 7,500 hours on turbine air tractors.
the thrusters of the aircraft to be in.